What is happening, my Android friends? I am David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and I'm bringing you, uh, finally, another episode of HTC One S. Yes, yes, I haven't done um, a review on a ROM in like a couple weeks or anything like that. Simply because I was on Pac-Man ROM, the 4.2.2 ROM, and uh, I was actually going to do a review on that. But I was trying to fix that little screen tear issue that these 4.2 ROMs are plagued with. And I was flashing kernels and blah, 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 and my freaking phone literally just was blinking in and out. So I got rid of that, and now I'm on Slim Bean uh, by uh, Team Dirt. And... Um, if you notice right here, right off the bat, they put their, the nice little Slim Bean S right there in your little lock screen indicator. Pretty cool stuff. I like how it reflects and it has like a holo-ish theme. And also right off the bat, this is actually running holo launcher. Yeah, it's not um, it's not Nova. It's not Trebuchet or Apex. They have it built in with holo launcher, which is pretty interesting. I'm just kind of just showing you the basic setup here. Uh, not bad. Really smooth. Fluid. I noticed though... Going through that was not as smooth as maybe some of the other launchers. And, and if you also notice too, they already have the DPI value set pretty low where everything just looks a little smaller and more spread out, which I really, that really caught my eye at first because that's what I loved about the Paranoid ROMs is that you can adjust the DPI settings to make your screen look bigger than it is. Come on, we're not blessed with a 4.7 or 5 inch screen, guys, right? Anyways, let's go into these settings and check out some of the Slim Bean settings. Let's go to interface. All right, first and foremost, we've got the display. And if you notice, when I turn off the screen, it's a vertical. It's a, the CRT animation is vertical. They give you that option to do that right there. I tried orientation dependent. Well, that just means if you were, you know, on landscape, it would just close like that. But yeah, so you can have it port portrait, uh, vertical, or horizontal. It's pretty cool. I liked it was vertical. Something added there is pretty awesome. Other than that, your normal display options. General, of course, you can adjust your uh, LCD density, which is at 200 right now. You can have a uh, tablet dual mode if you choose to. Let's see. And of course, you can just do the traditional stuff, add shortcuts to your uh, lock screen and your background and all that fun stuff. Keyboard input options. Same old song and dance. Um, let's see, status bar. Yeah, you can tweak all that stuff. So there's a lot of options, a lot of customizable options going on with this um, stuff. And uh, if we go back, what's kind of cool is you can have real dark slim. So if you turn that on, everything is just dark. Um, they come with uh, inverted apps already, um, like your YouTube, your gaps, basically, you know, all your uh, talk, your messaging. And um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I really like the fact that they did. The only thing about the YouTube app, though, constantly logs me out constantly logs me out like I'll even show you like I've logged in so many times and as you can see you see the blue icon see logged out always logs me out never keeps me signed in so that was a drawback about this launcher other than that it's very responsive very fluid but the Bubba kernel that is running on this does not like this ROM I mean the developer he says he's trying to fix it, but uh, I know other people that have been having problems too with this ROM where it just reboots randomly. Like I've had, in a day, I'll get like six or seven reboots, and they're hard reboots. Sometimes I'll get some soft reboots, but yeah, it's just like, what the heck's going on here, guys? I tried flashing different version of the Bubba ROM, or the Bubba kernel, still doing the same thing. So I don't know if he plans on fixing it anytime soon. I wish he would, because I'm tired of it, and I'm, I'm back to actually about to flash a new ROM. Just simply because I'm tired of the random reboot. So, really good ROM, Slim Bean, four point. It's an Android 4.2.2. It runs smooth. There's no screen tear, no nothing like that. But you get the random reboots, and of course, I'm constantly getting signed out of YouTube, which is kind of uh, crappy. And as you see, you got, yeah, I got the uh, 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 hue, the hue thing going on too. If you guys are wondering, so it's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, like I said, it's an awesome ROM, but it's plagued with reboot issues and some other issues, too. So hopefully they fix them soon. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Android Spin channel if you have not already. Well, I'm David, your Android junkie over at AndroidSpin.com, and this has been HTC One S-ness. I'll talk to you guys later.